call here at the Freedom Club or over on my YouTube channel, if that's where you're watching. Welcome over there too. Tonight is all about helping you guys with your Shopify stores. I can't wait to get stuck in. So what we're going to be doing tonight is reviewing your Shopify stores. <clears throat> and if you guys like, if it's okay with you guys, I'd like to start doing something a little bit more. I want to see if I can help you guys find your biggest competitors. <clears throat> Just getting my screens cleaned up here. I want to see if I can help you guys find your best, your biggest competitors because it's so important as a skill for you guys to be able to see what's working, selling your product for other people so that you can learn from them, take some of their advice on their copy and see if you can implement some of that on your website. So for every, for every URL that comes in the chat today, I will be looking at your competitors. See if I can help you improve your copy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still digesting my dinner. I was scoffing down real quick before the call. All right, so we've got two websites on the list for today, Maria and Bridget so far. If you're just dropping in now, drop your URL in. Give me a little bit of a, a, a backstory. Tell me where you are from in your journey from um, inception to releasing your store to putting ads out. Tell me where you're at. <clears throat> Tell me if you just want some advice on your store or your product. Tell me if you just want me to find the competitors. Diane, thanks heaps for my edit last week. You've been working super hard to get things done. Great. For the sake of tonight's topic, could I please take a look at your landing page? I can. To change colors. And it is incomplete, but we would appreciate your thought. You know what? I'm going to start with you, Diane. Sorry, Maria, I know you're in first, but I'm going to start with Diane just because Diane was part of my e-com emergencies just a few days ago, just a, well, a week ago, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you guys haven't seen Diane's e-com emergency, please go onto my YouTube channel. Give it a watch. I'll drop in a link right here. One second. Give this bad boy a watch in your own time. Don't watch it now, because right now we're, we're here to teach, we're here to tell you what to do, and here to help you hone your skills. So go watch that later on. And if you haven't, please feel free to give me a like and a subscribe. We're up to like, what are we up to? Just out of interest. Oh wow, 126 subscribers. Dang, that's cool. I know it's not much, but you gotta start somewhere. <coughs> I started with like, I think 25 of you guys. Look at there. You guys can't see that. Let me share my screen. Look at this. Look at the growth. All of a sudden, April 5th, everyone started watching. Awesome. Oh, thanks, Anthony. Anthony just said my YouTube videos are helpful and insightful. I, I aim to be as insightful as possible. And hopefully as entertaining as possible. That's the thing. They've got to find that 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 uh, balance between it, entertaining and useful and helpful. All right. Anyone else? We've got 16 people on the call. Please keep dropping in your URLs. We're going to take a look at Cozy Me. I'm not going to do a full review. We're just going to take a look at some of the changes. And I can tell already this looks so much more inviting. Uh, if you guys remember what, what Cozy Me looked like, it was like green and yellow. If you like what you're seeing, please let Diane know. Tell her how much better it looks, if you think it does. Much better pictures here, much, much better. Not too sure about the full body pillowcases. Yeah, might have to find a better way of showing those pictures. Not sure if that does the right job. Maybe, maybe you could have a little fun with this, right? Maybe you could throw someone, not, not throw someone, have someone on the floor and then have pillows all around them. All right, we'll check your landing page out in just a second. The colors, these colors are much better. So much better. <clears throat> and this is your landing page here. Australia's number one full body pillow. That's really nice. You know what, Diane, maybe you don't even need to show that on the homepage. Maybe you need a third, a third item that people can buy and you just have that as the upsell. So one bit of feedback I will give you. It's looking great, Diane. These 
these icons here look better with just a plain white background. It's a bit hard to make them look good. And I, I suspect they're going to get very small on mobile here. So what we would usually do, if you're using, say, um, what's the tool? Zipify Pages, for example. If you're using Zipify Pages, Um, sorry, one second. Tom and Molly, I'm not sure what you've sent me there, but it's a, uh, a video. Do you want me to watch the video? Well, hopefully it's not anything's too sinister. Google Chrome or iPhone won't allow anyone. Drop me a link, Tom and Molly, and I'll, I'll take a look. As I was saying, Diane, what you want to do is have these as individual elements. If you And if you're using Zipify pages, which I highly recommend to do this kind of thing, you, it's, you'd set up on desktop uh, a 4x4 four columns so four columns in a row and then on mobile when you click on the mobile view and it comes back down you do two columns one icon in each with a, with a white background it will look a lot better and this has to probably be centered this bit here and i know i know i, know I say no centering but this does look good centered looking good there though looking really nice um so pro the problem with this is this is the landing page here right so Full body pillow. The problem is we don't really want to introduce you in the in the landing page. This is probably better off in the about us section. <clears throat> this needs to be the first thing people see. The awesome products. Now the landing page is looking a lot better. There are elements that I love so much more than before. You're, you're starting to get it. You really are starting to get it. It's starting to come along, it's starting to pull together. But it's not looking like a landing page for a e-commerce site yet, because under the at the cart button, it's just not, it's just not set out the way that a normal website is on mobile yet. Tom, uh, for the moment, I will look at that in a second, buddy. For the moment, just turn your ads off until we figured out what the problem is. It's probably a DNS issue, but we'll look at that in just a sec. So, Diane, on on a landing page for an e-commerce website we want to have the product image as the first thing people see we want to see the uh, customer reviews like the um, social proof that this is safe and good to, to sell or to buy we want to see the price we want to see how many reviews you've got and then we want to have the add to cart button we want to have an faq we want to have the unique selling points for your company and then we want to have all of it, all the text and images to tell us why to buy your product in that format. Yeah, Na Nation Hydration is gone. Working on the next, the next store to take over at the moment. I'm hard at work putting products in and editing those products and getting, getting the next store up and running. When I pivot, I pivot fast. <laughs> all right, so Nation Hydration was, it was cool. I, I really enjoyed building that website. And I think I, I think I made it look pretty good, but I couldn't scale that product. And at this point in my career, I'm not interested in just seeing how things go to try and get a product to scale. What I did was I went and had a look at all the competition and there really was no big competition. There was maybe one other website that was selling hydrogen bottles. They were branded. They might be making some money, but I didn't feel like they were. They just, there wasn't a much, much traction on their ads. So I decided to go into a, a, a much bigger market with much more competition. <clears throat> now, Homecraftology, you have to understand, I haven't really changed Homecraftology, the overall look and feel for a few years. The reason is people are comfortable with this. I, I have a lot of repeat buyers. So this isn't the most modern way of showing products. And it's not necessarily the way that I would make my new websites to connect with a modern audience. It's built for a much older audience. So just bear that in mind. Don't don't copy and paste this for you. Copy and paste from a much bigger, much branded uh, website. You know what? Let's start this now. Let's do this. Let's find your, let's find you a comparable brand to get some ideas from and use as your template. Let's search for discovery. We're searching for a body pillow. I wonder if we're going to find one. 
What does this have to do with Shopify stores? Guys, always find your biggest and bestest. Yeah, follow Inverity, fantastic. Find your biggest and bestest competitor and learn from them. So if we bring this down, this is the Cuddler. So this is similar to yours. And you know what? I think you should definitely launch a product like this once you've got this product done. Bring this down in a mobile view. What have we got here? We've got big selling points in the header. Lovely logo, which you've now got a lovely logo. I love your color scheme too, Diane. It's fantastic. We've got the reviews at the top. First thing. We've got a tiny bit of text up here just to say what this is, which is cool. Then we have your product images. All right. We've got add to cart right here, free shipping, easy returns, after pay details there, and then we've got product information. And underneath the FAQ, we've got a nice review, which I can't click along, which there's some website issues here for sure. We've got, what would you call this? Designed for everybody, contoured cuddles from head to toe. So it's just talking about the aspects of the, of the products. We've got a video here. Videos on your landing pages are great, but I know you guys know that because you guys are all part of the Freedom Club where you get your videos and you get your USG and you put them on your on your, on your homepage. It's fantastic. It's great when you can make it into a nice big square that takes up most of the screen. And to do this, you would probably host it in some sort of a video hosting app or even if you want to host it onto something that can easily go onto Shopify, I'd recommend Vimeo. It's a very cheap video hosting or just YouTube. You just put your YouTube up there. Problem with hosting a YouTube video on your website is that once people have clicked play and watched the video, there's a whole bunch of suggestions that come back at the end and you might get them to click off. So we, we in, in e-commerce, we generally want people to watch video in our own type of environment where they won't click off and, and we'll go watch something else and go down another rabbit hole. So that's why Vimeo is a very good way to host a video on your e-commerce website. What else we got? We got down in here, all the way down there, all the way down the page. We're halfway down. We're talking benefits now. I love how they put their benefits. This is beautiful. Then we're talking about what, what it's made of. And then we have our full reviews. So Diane, if you, I know you're following Berebi. I want you to borrow as much as you can and come back next week. Or just send me a DM and let me know if, if you want me to take another look. You're heading down the right path. I think this is going to be marvelous. Now, if you guys are sitting here thinking, hey, I need to go, I definitely need to go and get uh, Zipify pages to make my website look like this. You don't, you don't need to use Zipify pages to make your website look amazing. You can launch your website just with the e-commerce uh, theme that we give you in the Freedom Club. It is fine. As long as you have all of these things, as long as you have all the elements, okay? It's not always about looking the most fanciest. It's usually about having the right thing in the right place. Like look, look at your competitors and what they're saying and where they're saying it and how they're breaking up their text with, with icons, with FAQs, with pictures, with their, how, how are they positioning their best reviews? How are they calling out their, their features? You can do all of this in, in our plain old uh, Freedom Club theme. It's possible. I've seen beautiful websites on the Freedom Club theme. If you want to experiment more and have the more blocky type of, of theme, you can just install Zipify pages. You just install it, Shelly, from the Shopify app store. Just installs right on top. It, it works with our theme. It works with anything. And you can have the theme all set up. And then you can use Zipify pages to have a custom theme. Well, not even a theme, just a custom layout on top of the theme for any product that you want. It's free to use for one product. And I think once you've played around with it, and you like it, you, you'll pretty much want to use it everywhere on your website. Um, I use it for all of my products. I don't use it for my homepage, but you easily could. You definitely easily could. I just I just don't feel like the homepage needs that much attention, honestly. <clears throat> Reason why I suggest Zip, Zip of Papaya Pages is because it is just so much easier to throw a website like this together. It, it does make it a lot easier, but do you need it? No, you can launch with just the stock stuff that we give you at the Freedom Club. If you want to go the extra mile, definitely Zipify Pages will, will absolutely help you. So good work, Diane. Good work. Can't wait to see where we're going. So Maria, we'll jump onto yours now. And this is Home Wellness AU. Cool. Home Wellness AU. Wow. This looks nice. 
I love your logo. I love your big text up here. I'll give to you. I'm going to test this out and I'm going to tell you if I get your email. All right. Did we get it? One second, guys. I'm just checking my emails. Home wellness. Okay. The first problem with home wellness, Maria, is you need to go into Clavio and turn off your double opt-in. For those of you who haven't done this yet, yet, please pay attention. Okay. This is one of the most important steps to do before launch. So in Clavio, I'm going to head over to, well, donation hydration. Why not? All right, we're in Nation Hydration. Uh, Shelly, it is zip if I pages. Okay, so if you're paying attention now, guys, if you once you're in Clavio, go into listen segments. Okay, I need to log in again, I think. <sighs> Okay, go into list and segments. On the newsletter one, click on the three dots to the right. Click on actions. Click on list settings. Jump into consent and make sure that you've got single opt-in here selected and then press save. And that's going to make it so that once I put my, emails into you, my email into your email box, I'm automatically subscribed. What's happening right now is I put my email into your email box. And then I get an email into my inbox saying, hey, I need you to click this link to confirm your subscription. How many people do you think are ever going to click that link? Well, the answer is going to be pretty close to zero. Somewhat close to zero. All right. So, unparalleled comfort and relief. I don't know. That, that image you showed me in the beginning with the, with the pop-up doesn't look that comfortable. Relief, yes. So, what do we got? <clears throat> okay. Whose is this? Whose was this? Maria. This is your second store. You've been working on it since March. All right. So what's going to be your main product? I think it's cool that you got the body pillows. The shop relief mini is cool. The humidifier, somewhat okay. Um, this massager I'll have to have a look at. I don't think the balance chair is particularly good for this store, personally. These six? Possibly? Possibly. What do we want to look at today, though? What's going to be it? We'll go, we'll do a shop now. We'll find your, your main product. <clears throat> oh, the beanie relief. I like this one. But then you've got full, full body pillow there. I don't personally think... I'm, I'm going to say something here that I might regret, but I don't think the full body pillow matches with the home wellness meditation thing necessarily, but I'm not. It could. It could. It, who am I kidding? It could. I just love this. I just think this is great. You notice here, guys, this is just the freedom theme, and it looks superb. When it's done right, when it's done simply, when your text is a good font, and it's nice and big, when your colors all match, this theme rocks. Are migraines stopping you in the tracks? Stopping you in your tracks? Are you tired of relentless migraine pain? What we need to do, uh, I'm going to look at the body pillow as well, Maria. What we need, what we need to do with this copy is not copy yourself, not say the same thing tw twice in a different way. So, I'd be saying, are you tired of relentless migraines? Just keep it nice and simple. Introducing the home wellness relief beanie, the ultimate solution for soothing migraine pain with targeted comfort and relief. Yep. That's all very well and good. Engineered with ergonomic design, premium materials. Is that all this thing is? It's just for migraines? Or is it to help you sleep? Oh, you can warm it up. Warming up wasn't something we mentioned. So it'd be cool if you mentioned some of the, the things you could do with this. Yeah, for headaches, really. I think this is cool. Uh, we don't want to say is reusable. We just want to say reusable. Saves you money, relieves pain, reusable. is, And we don't want to just say is guaranteed. We want to say 100 night risk-free guarantee. 
and the FAQs probably need to be really um, beefed up. But all in all, it looks bloody fantastic. This looks like a great product, but I don't think you're putting enough, there's not enough in there to sell it. Like, what does it do and how to use it? It's great that we got down here, you've got this picture of the microwave. Probably should have been more up here with all the ways that you could use this. And the fact that I had to ask, is this just for migraines, means you haven't really told me what this product is yet. So I shouldn't have any questions about what this is or who is this for or how would I use this. It should all be told to me in this page. I do like the product. It It is probably, if I was to give you a rating, I'd say this is like a good 6, 7 out of 10. And to get that 10 out of 10, just got to get in there and fix those those problems that I, that I said. And it's not even about the copy. The copy is great. The images are great. These GIFs are great. Just need to sell what this does better. But let's look at your pillow. Shop body pillow. Lovely images. Fantastic. I'm not a fan of this, this image because it looks like a cheap zip. Now, it may have a cheap zip, but you don't want to tell people that there's a cheap zip. So personally, I'd, I'd get rid of this one. Looks pretty good. Home wellness full body pillow. Now, it's funny that, we, that we're doing yours right after Diane's because she's selling the same thing. Let's see how you're selling it. Now, if you guys are worried that someone's coming on here and they're selling the same product as you, guys, you do not need to worry. Okay, we are entering, like the whole purpose of this is to enter into markets where there is so much demand that really when people see your ad, they've already thought about buying one of these. This is the ideal person. They've already thought about buying one of these. They've been thinking about it for a while and they see your ad and like, you know what? I've been wanting a full body pillow for a while. These guys look legit. This one looks fantastic. I'm just going to go all in and buy this one right now. Those are the types of people that we want. And that's the sort of market that we want. If this product sells well, that's the sort of market that it is. If you find that you can't sell this product, it's not because someone else in the Freedom Club is selling it. It's not because someone else on, on, on Facebook is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars selling it. It's just because the, the, the demand for it wasn't there. All right. Tossing and turning all night to get comfortable. We have the solution for you. Introducing Home Wellness Full Body Pillow. The pillow that wraps you up in a hug of comfort while helping you sorry oh, while well, helping to relax you in a perfect sleep that's nice not to be mistaken with your average body pillow the home wellness pillow full body pillow is australian made so that you know that only the best materials are used ensuring your health is our priority okay cool yeah makes sense sorry if i'm reading funny it's not your text it's me it's me tonight <laughs> i think i need a coffee now you may be fooled into believing that this is a maternity pillow. We're here to tell you that it is more than that. It's designed for anyone looking for the perfect night's sleep. I like that. I like that a lot. Its shape helps you snuggle into the perfect sleeping position. It relieves pain from hips, neck and knees so that you wake up feeling refreshed. For those who hate sleeping alone, it promotes relaxation and leaves anxiety and stress. That's actually really good there. That's a good selling point. If you hate sleeping alone, that, that'd be good on an ad. Really good. Okay, so light and versatile. It can also be used for sitting up in bed, on the couch or breastfeeding. You can take it in all of your adventures. I really like this coffee, by the way. If you guys are wanting to know how to make great coffee, this is pretty good. This is very good. Made for Aussies by Aussies, so we'll know you'll love it. So are you ready to sleep? Are you ready for the best sleep of your life? Here's why you love it. Pain relief. Snuggly supports your body to eliminate neck, back, and hip pain. Bigger fits all body types. 100% Aussie made. Your health is our priority. Made with high quality, organic, breathable, low allergen materials. Shipped from New South Wales. 100 day risk-free trial. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, what, I, what I don't like is this text here. Every, I know everybody has it. The text is fine, honestly, but it's really cool to what I would do, I take this image down here, this gift down here, and I'd pop it up to break up this a little bit. And I'd replace this with a nice actual seal or a guarantee. You know, a big, a big formal looking seal of approval, probably green. And I'd center that so that 
this text looks really good with it. I don't know, like maybe not center, maybe text there, seal there, something like that. I think it's really cool to follow it up though with a nice formal looking seal. Questions. Yeah, these, these are nice. This is really good, good FAQs. So probably this Trish one, I, I would probably not show that image just because it looks wrinkled. We want our first images to look really nice. The rest of them look great. Really good job. I'm really liking that. Amazing job. Okay, so in terms of your front page, what I do is I... I I whittle this down a little bit. The full body pillow, great. I wouldn't show full body pillow cases on the home page personally, because you're not going to sell you're not going to sell body cushion uh, pillow cases at all unless you unless it's an upsell or via email. So I would, and this this goes for you too, as well. Um, uh, Diane probably take the pillow cases off the front page. I keep the the relief mini. That's nice. I don't know about the Acumat. I actually bought one. It's 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 not great. The material's not great. It's it's not comfortable. It's not relaxing at all. Humidifier, eh, maybe. Oh, what's this thing? A home wellness mimetic touch massager. Well, that seems cool. Hopefully, the build quality is there. Seems nice. But does a massaging device go with a cushion? Maybe. What do you guys think? Let's see. Oh, and same, same goes for you, for you too. Maria, um, the Berebee. Oops, that's not the screen that we want. Berebi is definitely the. That's definitely the uh, competition that you got that you should be looking at. But also, you got these massage devices here too. Okay. Let's have a look at these. Oh yuck! This is terrible. That is not a competitor. That is just. Just a regular old dropshipper. People who literally... Oh, what's this one? The pillow sides. Okay, let's take a look at these. What? These are the new version of pillow sides, and they are amazing. Somehow, they are oh. more comfortable. My feet... There's a, there's a feet. Pillow pod. You guys seen pillow pod? These have been running for the past year. This is how we know this product works. Diane, it's it's competition. This is e-commerce. You know, it, it may feel bad, but do you think I was the first or the only person to sell diamond painting kits? How many of my customers do you think saw my site and thought this is an easy an easy thing to get into? I saw many websites come up and try to copy me. I even had somebody take my entire website, my entire wife's story, and copy it and try and sell diamond painting kits. And do you know how many of those are still in business? There's five big diamond painting kit companies that are still in business. So while it may look similar, Competition is healthy. Competition drives you to make a better website. Competition drives each other to make better websites. And you guys think you're not going to look at Pillow Pod right here selling the same product and think, damn, what can I use from these guys? Oh, wow, look at this website. Look at this website. Diane, use it as an opportunity to, to look, um, like compare and borrow ideas look at this one. Oh, look at these logos this is fantastic guys both of you pillow pod 
This is your real biggest competitor here. What other products do these guys have? Pregnancy pillows, mattress protectors. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty good idea too, mattress protectors. Why would that be good? Because people people who are buying this also probably, like there are going to be a fair few people who are pregnant who are buying this. They're going to have babies. They're going to want near mattress protectors because spills happen. Fantastic. We've got L-shaped pillow pod, memory foam pillow pod, velvet pillow pod. So they've got a few different types. Pillow pod cases, bundles. Yeah. Follow those guys, guys. And never feel deflated just because someone thought your product was good. Competition is healthy. So, so, so healthy. It's only those who keep going who survive. So make sure you keep that in mind, guys. All right, we're moving on to Belux. Two Belux. This is nice. Bridget, you've been taking on bits and pieces of my calls and making improvements as you go. Fantastic. This is your new website called Belux. Your product is a portable LED light glam case. All right. All right, let's take a look. Put my email in here send my discount uh first up I, I think i think the pop-up was a little bit too quick i think 20 seconds is a good amount of pop-up personally so you may want to give that a bit of a try is it possible to rename looks reviews you can so what you need to do with the looks reviews what do you mean by rename it if you if you could also let me know is it possible to rename looks reviews you can see it on your website it comes up with initials I mean, I see the reviews. I don't see what you mean though. Well, I'll keep looking and see if I can find what you mean. Okay. You've done a great job. This theme looks fantastic. I love your colors. I, I love your logo. It looks like a, a women's magazine logo. Terrific. I love your shop now. I love the image that you've chosen. This guy, this is a default theme done well. When you keep it simple. It can look so professional. Shop bestsellers. So we're going to go with the, the glam case as you should suggest. All right. Beelux portable glam case. Images look great. Product looks fantastic. Are you stuck in a cycle of messy drawers and, cl and cluttered makeup bags? Uh, probably get a new line there. Do you dread the aftermath of clutter and disorganization that follows getting ready for the day? Great. New line though. Look no further than Bilux portable glam case, new line. She is all in, she is your all in one home base for self care no matter where you are. New line, whether you're, when, where I'm, obviously, where I'm saying new line, you're going to put, a, put a, a, an enter there. Whether you're getting ready at a friend's or fixing up your makeup in transit, a portable glam case has got you covered. Great, Man, that's terrific. Okay. No accessible bathroom, no worries. That's that, that's really cool. Fits in, organizes your cosmetics, safe from leakages. Terrific. Wow. Oh, I love these. Attachments, LED light work, dimensions. How do you clean it? Ah, oh, oh, wow. What is it made of? Where does it shift from? Hyundai risk free trial. Only thing I think you're missing is a nice seal. A nice big seal of approval here. Wow. Terrific job. All right, I, I just want to check actually. I didn't check this on the other ones. What is your mission? Good job. Mission looks great about us. We're offering solutions portable. Glam cases, great with luxury twist. Whether you're getting ready, this is fair. I mean, you could work on the about us, put put in a nice photo of yourself, and just say you know some of the problems you've had in the past of needing to get ready at a friend's house and and not being comfortable and not not having your stuff. Yeah, that could be cool here. Tell us a story about why, and then I think that's fantastic. I w I want to check your conversion train. Did I sign up for emails? 
did I? I can't remember. I didn't get anything yet. Let me just double check. Belux, welcome to the Belux community. Unfortunately, it went to spam. So you might want to have a chat to the Clavio support team and ask them why your welcome email is going to spam. Okay, add to cart. And we're going to check out. 119 is a pretty... How, how much does this cost, Bridget? Is this like 30 bucks? Okay, cool. What are, we, what are we looking at here? This is a... This is not... A, okay, so this says leg support cushion, but I think we're drawing eyebrows here. So go into one-click upsell and make sure you've got the right product listing text. 40 bucks. Now, I know we say three times margin, but test this out at this price for sure. It might be a hard sell at 119. You, you, you might want to sell this for 99 in the future. But by all means, test this out at 120. If you don't get many add to carts, look, your website looks great. So I don't think it's going to be a website problem. Your product looks great. I don't think it's a product problem. When you test this, if you don't get add to carts, you'll probably know that it could be the pricing. It could be the pricing. Um, but by all means, make sure you test at the higher price because we want to make sure we get a good amount of profitability. Great job. This looks amazing. I'm really impressed. You've, you've taken everything that I've said and you've made it work. So well done. Absolutely well done. All right. What I want to check though is your competition. Just quickly. And this is also something you guys should be doing. Like I said many times, I should stop repeating myself because I tell you guys to, to not repeat yourself. And here I am repeating myself constantly. Uh, we're going to do makeup glam case. It'll probably be hard to find something just like this. It's not something you see all the time. And for those who are watching or just tuning in, you still have time to drop your links in, guys. I think after this one, There's only one more link after this one, guys. Oh, two more. And then Tom and Molly are going to help you guys. Three more. Yeah, three more after this. So this is almost like final call. Get your links in now or you might not get a, a review. Okay, so what have we got? Makeup bag. This is your sign to stop packing your makeup in Ziploc bags. In the past, I would pack up a tote like this. Mine, and I could not be more. So proof wipes right off. It has... Yeah, so this is kind of your competition, but yours is even better than this. Because yours has the LED mirror, which is fantastic. So fancy. One of the things I like about a lot of women's websites for women products is some of their logos just look fantastic. These logos look so friendly. Look how big they're... This, this is something I want you guys to think about. As you're browsing your competition's website, pay attention to their sign-up. This is a big fan... Uh, I was going to say fancy because I was reading fancy. A big friendly sign up with big text here. I like that. I like that a lot. So here they've got an actual review that, that says what they wanted to say of what their product is. This is the ultimate duo, best makeup case I've owned. That's brilliant. Not only did they tell you what the product is, they told you what the product is as a customer review. You, you can't get that's hidden two birds with one stone. It can't get better than that. No matter the destination, you deserve a first-class glow that only Cami and Madison can offer. This lightly handled vanity mirror and makeup organizer will keep you feeling at first day of vacay way 24-7. That, that's amazing copy. Incredible copy. Oh my goodness. I love the fact that these guys use a lipstick, a bunny, lips, whatever that is. Okay, the, lip, the lipstick and the money are cool. Reasons to love it. Perfect for makeup enthusiasts. A place for everything. Carry on approved. These are really good. These are fantastic. Take some of these too. Details. Yeah, you want to make sure you have your details in there too. This really kind of solidifies the completeness of your product listing too. When you have this kind of detail in the listing. Look at all the pictures they've got. I'm really impressed. And what are these? These are just, just more marketing materials. 
which is, I mean, it's completely useless, but it, it looks cool. The most versatile mirror ever. So I, I do say this to you guys a lot. When we're introducing a topic, we do want a nice, bold header. Because it, it kind of, you can, then you can have a block of text. If you've got the header there saying what they're about to read, and then they've got the text. Supercharge your beauty routine with this four in one. That's beautiful. And look at those gifts. Obviously, these guys have been doing this a long time, and these are well um, produced gifts. Your gifts are fine. Your gifts are perfectly fine. Protect your cosmetics. Oh, that's really good. Because, you know, we, women want to make sure their cosmetics are not going to get handled around and, and all over the bag, right? See it all. Terrific. I love that. Customizable organization. I mean, obviously, you won't have the same selling points, but you'll have other ones. First class glow reviews. Cool. Look at the frequently asked questions. That's pretty. That's really cool. Wow. I'm impressed with Fancy. So take from Fancy what you want what you can and improve your website even further. Terrific. All right, what have we got next? Shelly, did I do your Shelly? I must have, I didn't even see this one. Watching my videos, my previous lives. You've had add-ons add since Sunday, no sales yet. Your website is Be Your Body. Be You, be you Body. Okay, we're gonna take a look. Let's take a look at this. Be you body. Hey, this looks nice. Okay, shop heating massage belt. Bamboo period undies. Be you body period cups. I assume that you're probably advertising only to women. I hope. All right, let's take a look. Great pictures, great models. They look, they look good. All right, BU body heating massage belt. Portable, natural pain relief, free delivery, $99. Okay, everything's looking great so far. Sick of painful periods, terrific. Find yourself suffering, a, stuffing a wheat pack under your clothes when you're up and about. All right, need gift to you. Here's 10% extra off your first order. We will be testing that. One second, just waiting for that email to come through. It went to spam. So you might want to have to have chat that blurb. You might want to have a chat with Clavier about why that's going to spam and see if you can figure that out. It's a nice email. The email is perfect. It just, just happened to go to the spam folder. Okay. Uh, or sick of traditional heat packs getting cold after 10, 15 minutes of use. I love your text here and the fact that you're bolding some of these. That's fantastic. So I can skim through and see the, the important bits. You're doing all the right things, Shelly. This looks great. Advanced heat therapy. I'm really impressed, guys. The, the quality of the websites that you guys are producing now has has just become so much better. Soothing back massage function. That makes me feel good because obviously we're doing something right. Stimulate the release of natural painkillers known as endorphins for effective drug-free pain relief. Great. Why haven't you been getting any sales? That's what annoys me. We'll have to have a look at that on Sunday. Uh, no, not Sunday. On Thursday, Shelley. In the meantime... I will just quickly check out your about us and your mission. Perfect. Perfect. About us. Man, I love your logo. It's so nice and clean. Uh, would it be nice to put a photo of yourself in there, Shelley? Talk about why women's health and period pain is so important to you. There's this whole big thing going on right now in Australia. You've probably seen it. I don't need to mansplain it, but, but um, I've seen it. And the reason, the only reason I'm commenting on it is because I've seen it in the newspapers. 
just all these articles with women coming out about endometriosis and how hard it is for them. Maybe you could lean into that a little bit and talk into that. Okay. Everything looks really good. Let's add this to cart. I will just check this in mobile. If you're finding that you're not getting add to carts, it could also be that the price it may be too high, but I don't see the price, price personally being too high, but that could be an indication. That's weird. Ah, oh, welcome tens already applied. That's not weird. That's great. Okay, check out. Luxury bamboo period undies. I'll decline that. Yeah, it looks great, um, Shelly. It looks fantastic. So I will take a look at your ads on Thursday and see if we can figure out what's going on. But everything else looks good. Great, now I'm going to have a shop bloody pay coming after me to buy some period undies. <laughs> But really, really good work there. Really good work. We'll figure out why your ads aren't working. And you know what we didn't do? I, the reason why we didn't do it, I, I didn't think we need to, but let's have a look anyway. Heating massage belt, just in full plate. So wellness with a three. Since May. link oh they're out of business what else we got nope nope girl cessity uh that's terrible yours is way better um altoir bazaar nope cramp free let's have a look page not found So these guys must just be trying to launch. See how this tells you, like, from February until now, they were, they were running, and, and now they're not running them anymore. They're all sold out, which means maybe they weren't working. Page not found. That's the same one. So while your store is great, if this product doesn't work, I don't want you to give up on the store because you've done a great job with the branding. You might, if this doesn't work, if you've given a, a good shake, It'll be good for you to just give other women's products a, pr a try. Is this loading up? I don't think this is loading up. And I guess next. That's what happens if your website is too slow. Menstrua easy. That's a different language, so I won't look there. TikTok ads, Cozy Girl. Let's have a look at Cozy Girl. We are out of business. Multiple relief. Do you also expect? Out of business too? Well, oh, that's not very promising, is it? This product changed my life. Freedom to... Okay, that's Laboro. Lab nope, they're out of business too. What is going on here? Okay, be me woman. 2.0 comfort relief. This is a new version, right? Is that the same one that you got or a slightly different version? Terrible website. No, oh, this is awful. Ugh, they, don't know, they don't know what they're doing. And I think that's Indian. That's, that's, I think that's a rupee. Being woman. The belt. 
glitchy. We'll take a look at glitchy. Always good to... Oh, these are out of business too. Always good to do this, Shelly. So, if you do have trouble selling this, you're going to know why. Because it looks like a lot of other people have had trouble selling it. That's what we're looking at right now. One sec, let's take a look at aim to you. Page not found. Here to help. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's going to work. Nope, unavailable. Diva freedom. Oh, damn. No, this is not looking good. Okay. I would say probably just be prepared that you might need to find a new hero product. Just be prepared. Yeah, these are all unavailable. Okay, I think I think that tells us all we need to know. So, um, keep that in mind with these Facebook ads. I will look over these ads on, on Thursday and give you, I guess, my interpretation of what we're seeing. What I'm seeing of the competition is there isn't a lot of of demand for this product and so it may be difficult to sell your website though is incredible so good job on your website i'm really really impressed if you want some advice on products feel free to dm me with any other products you're thinking about adding to your store and I, I'd, I'd be happy to give you a um my thoughts on any other products but your branding is superb. Your website was superb. So well done there. Okay. Pano, panoro, what are we doing? Panoromic auto. Panoromic auto. So we're selling car gadgets. Right. Whose was this one? Panoromic auto. Where did I get this from? Rachel, this is your first site for any form of e-commerce and it seems you're getting half decent click-through rates, statistics with your ads, but you can't convert. We're still trying ads, trialing ads, getting rid of the ones that don't perform from my advice last week. Would I be able to take a look at your ads? I'll take a look at your website today and I'll take a look at your ads on uh, Thursday. So personally, I wouldn't be selling a pet hammock inside this store because this is a car store and i know it's a car product but it's more of a pet product than anything the wireless car play and the rear view mirror these look interesting but problem is from my it, it, look my interpretation of this product and i don't know much about it yet but a lot of people have these built into their cars these days so you can only sell this to people with older generations of cars not a terrible thing it's just not something that everybody needs can you still make money of this? Probably, probably. Just keep that in mind. Let's look in the product now. One of the things that I really hate, a little pet peeve of mine, is these little pop-ups. So you want to turn those pop-ups off. You, you really don't need them at all. Okay. Panoram panorom panoromic. I can't even pronounce this. That could be one of the problems. I just can't pronounce this name. Panoromic auto. Review mirror. Or review camera. The first image, yes, it's a good image of the product, but I can't really tell how and where this sits in my car. It's very confusing. So that is a bit of feedback there. This is not a bad product image. I can see that it fits on my review mirror. I can see some stuff, I guess. This and this are pretty much the same image. You don't really need, really need both of them. I mean, we got a lot of the same type of images here. Oh, this is cool. Wow, that is cool. That should be the second thing that you see. That's fantastic. Make that your second image. That sells the product. That makes my review mirror a touch screen. Jeez. You know what I'd be doing? I'd be changing the name of this website personally, personally. Probably call it touch screen review mirror. That sounds really cool, a touch screen review mirror. 
Okay, front and rear loop recording. Night vision with G sensor. Free delivery, free express delivery Australia wide. Cool. Uh, now when I come down here and I, and I look at this price, one seventy. That's fair enough. This is a piece of tech. You know, I can I can imagine it'll cost some money. But then now you're telling me I must have an an, an, an SD memory, memory card already, and I must have this universal adapter. So already I'm starting to add up costs in my head. Probably don't want to have this, and you definitely don't want to have it as a must have. You know, because that's now telling me I need to spend 169 plus 39 plus 29, that's 230. I'm already doing maths in my head. If I'm doing maths in my head, I've, you've already lost the sale. Okay. Other than that, looking pretty cool so far. Tied up blind spots while driving. Passengers, pets, or luggage blocking your field of view, field of vision. Or even zero visibility to, due to toolboxes or canopy in your ute. Not anymore. Improve your vision while driving with by simply using the Panoramic Auto's 10-inch night vision. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Night vision review camera with the continuous loop recording and never miss a thing. Get 50% off plus a hundred night risk trial today. Cool product. Now that I understand what it is. Okay, I've got many questions. And we'll get to the FAQ shortly. The questions that I have that really, that could be easily resolved in your copy. So what I'm thinking is, when I look at this, when I understand what this is, I, I think your first image should actually be something like this, but with somebody like, is there a freeze frame here where he's, that. That right there should be your first image. You can see the icons on this thing. You can see someone's about to touch it. You can see it's a review mirror. That explains the whole thing in one image. So that should be your main product image and get rid of the rest. Keep it nice and simple. You could get away with this. This is your second image, this, this video. And this is your third image, which is a clear review. Get rid of the rest. Um, now, what I'm thinking as soon as I see this, I'm thinking in my head, uh, other than what I just said about the, about the must-haves, I'm thinking, what is this gonna cost me to install? Can I do it myself? Is this going to set me back a week to figure out how to install this damn thing? How do I even put a camera in the back of my car? So those are the things that you could probably say, installation's a breeze. Hopefully it is. Um, you can do this yourself in a matter of minutes. Comes with the complete instructions. Maybe you could even show a quick video of someone installing. What was that? Okay, that, I don't know. I don't think it's that easy to install, but all right. How do we, how do we install this? Your review screen. Okay, so in Australia, we don't want to be saying ten inches. We want to be saying you know twelve centimeters or whatever ten inches is in in centimeters. All you require is an auxiliary power outlet. Outlet, your rear view mirror cameras are designed to be universally compatible with all cars. Intended to fit over existing rear view mirrors and operate as separate devices from the vehicle's existing electronics. Great. Installa installing this is designed to be user-free and hassle-friendly. It's plug and play setup, meaning no special skills or tools required. If you opt for the hardware system, installation might be slightly more difficult. What does that mean? That's very confusing. But worry not, there are plenty of how-to videos available to guide you through the process. Where are they? Can you link them here? I need to see them. I want to make sure that this is for me. And what do you mean by hardware option? So already I'm going to be, this is why you'd be getting no sales. It's too complicated, complicated. <laughs> it's too complicated for me to think about. I just want to go back to scrolling. You know, this, this sounded great for a few minutes and then now this is too hard. So, line out the steps for installation. Show somebody installing this really quickly and easily. Show the hardware installation if possible. Because what, what use is this if you don't want to install the hardware? What, you just have a screen on your, on your mirror that does nothing. That doesn't make much sense. So we definitely want to see how these wires get installed in the car and how easy that is. Make sense?
good job though i think this is a great product i think it has potential and of course we'd want a lot a lot better reviews a lot more reviews Alrighty. can't wait to see how this one goes because that's very very interesting so good luck rachel and kieran all right claire claire done please take a look at my website you're at an airbnb with poor wi-fi uh, no problem you can drop out and come back in well it was referring to the hardware kit which which removes the plug in okay yeah so what you want then we'll just go back to that quickly what i would want to see as a as a consumer is clear instructions in installation is easy pop it up here here's a video doing that install the wires here's a video doing that and then i will understand as a consumer that i can actually install this myself take out that bit about installing in, just say no you do not need a professional installation for this to work someone may choose that later on you don't need to tell them that in, inside the copy that just confuses people so no this doesn't need a professional installation here are the steps that we do this one two three four and in fact show the installation steps here that will actually help sell the product because for me i i would like to buy this i actually would personally i would like to buy this for my car it looks great i i just want to know that i don't need to install it and that I can handle it myself. And here are the steps. You guys got something great here. It's just a bit confusing and you just need to break it down for me. So show me show me your changes and that's the smiley face, is it? I can't tell if the icon's too small. Is that a smiley face? Because it could also be just a long face, like I did something wrong. Yeah, show me show me this next week. Or just send me a DM with, 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 it, with it updated. I'd like to take a look. All right, next one. Our baby paw. So, whose is our baby paw? You're welcome, Rachel. And also, Kieran. My baby paw. My baby paw. Whose was this? Okay, Claire. All right, we are selling baby products. If I'm going to be completely honest, and y you know I am. Sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. I want to help you guys as much as possible. So I'm completely blunt. Some things cannot be said easily. I just don't like your logo. Uh, I, it's not that I hate your logo. I just, I don't like the back filled in. Let's check your email. I don't mind the the lettering. I don't mind the fonts. I don't mind the paw. That's cool. I just don't like the um the background of it. So if you could clear, clear the background and show me again, I think it would be good. Coloring of your theme is nice. There's too much text here. That's for sure. Way too much text here. It looks unbalanced with this final bit right here. Have a go at re reducing that down. What are we selling here? Stop the Grom brush or shop the original paw. This is interesting. Okay. We're going to shop the original paw. I hope this is the right product. If not, please do let me know. The baby paw. All right. So this is something they wear on their hands that they can chow down on and not bite themselves. Interesting. Okay. I haven't had babies for a very, very, very long time. So I may be out of the loop. Sick of your baby losing or throwing away their teething tool? Introducing the number one teething tool for busy mums and dads, which will keep your baby happy without having to resort to those dirty set of keys. Mobile phone? Okay, fair enough. The baby paw is the original paw has been made specifically for the prepared parent to help. I'm not very prepared to help protect your baby's hands and teeth. Does this not hurt their teeth or their gums? Maybe it's good for their gums. Maybe it feels good if they're teething. Yeah, this kid's really getting into it. Can you put it in the fridge? But that would make the hand too too cold. Why you and your baby will love this? Secure fit, easy clean, satisfying feel. Okay. Recommendations. Do I have to get different paw for different hands? Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, 
I would probably have an FAQ that will this hurt my baby's gums or teeth? And you could obviously say, no, this is this is not going to hurt their gums or teeth. You don't need to worry about that. What I want to do though is have a look. So this is baby, what would you call this? A baby mitt? See what, we'll see how other people are doing it. Baby mitt. No. What do you call this product? What, what does your supplier call it? Teething. Teething, maybe. Ah, oh, here we go. Cheer up your babies and help them ease their gum and teething pain. How are these guys selling it? Terribly. Oh, this is awful. Oh, yuck. Your website's way better than that. Way better than that. But it's good to know that they've still got this running for all the last 12 months. So this is a good, this is probably a good product. Okay. I think these are other ones. Chris, G no, that's, that's offline. So they haven't done so well. The amount of crappy pop-up e-commerce stores is, is too, it's too high. There are too many. We got Frid, Frida Baby and Riff Raff Sleep. Let's take a look. Amazon. Don't care about you. Riff Raff Baby. Oh, this looks like a nice brand. Not the same product, I know, but the brand is pretty good. Let's let's pick something. You're welcome, Martha. So, not bad. This is not a bad store to look at for some ideas. You don't really need much, actually, to be honest. And this isn't really helping. But I do think this is a good product. I think you will do well. I don't think you need too much on this, to be honest. I'd like to see if this can actually sell with just what you've got. I think it does a, a good enough job. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we might just want to have a little bit in there about the toxins and the plastics being used that they're safe for babies and that they're not, they're not going to break through the silicon, tell us the grade of silicon, that kind of thing, just so that everything is above board and seems good. And let's give it a try. Yeah, cool. Very cool. All right. Who is next? Tom and Molly. Google Chrome on iPhone won't allow anyone onto the site. This has happened on Saturday. And again today, we're unsure of how to fix it. Right, let me have a look. I'm downloading. And taking a look now. Whoops. One momento. Oops, one second. We'll just wait so everyone can see. I'm gonna share my entire screen. Can't share my entire screen. There we go. Okay, replay, play. Myelectricdrive.com.au Yeah, that's not good, is it? Can you drop me a link to your website? My Electra Drive. My Electra Drive 
Bitcoin.com.au forward slash products. I'm guessing it's I, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, look, I think I know what the problem is. I've actually had this before. And I don't think it's just Apple iPhones that have this problem. Watch very carefully. And so you look at these two URLs. The one that you've given me here has, and this is technical web, web, webby stuff, okay, guys? Um, you wouldn't, you know, this isn't, you haven't done anything wrong. I'm, I'm going to tell you how to fix this too, how I think to fix this. This actually happened to me on Nation Hydration. So if you see here, you've got your website here, slash products, slash electro drive, oh, sorry, electro drive, I can't speak tonight. And then we've got these funny percentage E2, percentage 84, percentage A2. Now what these this thing here is, is it's a code, it's web code for TM. Your, the link that you're sending people to is electro drive, TM. Now, TM is this tiny little trademark symbol up here, otherwise known as, in HTML, these guys right here. Now, when you go into Facebook or when you go into Shopify, you can put TM in your product name. You can do that. But what happens is, even though this is your official product link, on some devices, it's going to try and change it to this. And there's going to be some sort of a refresh that happens where the browser is not going to know, do I do this? Do I, do I change it to TM? Do I not change it to TM? It'll try and refresh a couple of times and sometimes it completely breaks. For my website, it was randomly just, just breaking, just, just having the same thing that yours had. How do you fix this? You go into Shopify and if I look into one of these, hold on, that's someone else's. I'll go into one of my my products on my store okay so if my product name had tm in the title down the bottom of here it would say 10 years premium diamond painting kit tm at the end there what i would do is i would take the tm out of the title i delete that there i click save still down at the bottom I, mine would still say tm because it doesn't change the actual url i click edit and I would specifically take TM out of the page title and making sure that the URL handle down the bottom here has no TM in it whatsoever. And then I click save and this product will be fixed and there'd be no TM in the title. And I think, I think that if you put that new link into, into your ads on, on Facebook, you probably won't have this problem. That's my thought. Shall we do a quick review of your actual product, by the way, while we're here? ElectroDrive. Oh yeah, this is completely safe. <laughs> I would totally not, <laughs> I would totally not, not have a car crash while watching Stranger Things in my car. <laughs> That's really cool. I know so many people who would love this. Yeah, you take it out of the page title and you take it out of the page URL. The two, the two steps. I'll, I'll just do them real quick for you again. So you come into your page. Oh, did I close that down? I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm not there. No, that's not it either. Where is it? Here it is. You come to your page. You take it out of the title of your product. You, you press. So you'd have TM here. You go delete, 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 then save. And you come down here. And you take it out, you'll have to click edit on the SEO. You take it out of the page title down here. You go delete, 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 save, come back down again. Check the URL handle and take it out of the URL handle as well. And then delete, delete, delete and save. And that should then work a lot better for you. All right, smart drive. A lot of car products though. What have we got here? Electric Smart Drive Smart Link Hub. I don't know if that's what I'd call it. Is it really linking? Plug this into this and watch this. Wouldn't you call this like Electric Electric Drive Entertainment Hub? Pretty cool. 
Very cool. Okay, so this is Australia's most advanced car streaming service, wireless car and Android Auto. Has some trademark issues. Yeah, you probably could with this because this is obviously the, the Chinese version of something that someone's made. Automatic connection, Netflix. This is cool. Yeah, this is really cool. Can you call it Smart Link Ent Entertainment Hub? Say goodbye to ordinary CarPlay and hello to our world of new streaming opportunities. Join 5,000 plus Aussies and bring the magic of Netflix, YouTube and beyond right into your car's sleek screen. Cool. You're going to get this by a Giphy off, for sure. Here's why I love it. Ultimate Unlimited Streaming. This kind of sells itself. What apps can I use? Connect to... This, this looks great. I don't think this is the best it could be, but it's not the worst. It's not terrible. No, it's pretty good. Connect to car, split Wi-Fi and Bluetooth source. So what, what my question is, is how... Does this work on my on my own screen? So this is just two things. This is just wireless play and Android Auto. So this is its own little thing. Where does that go? And what what is this? How does this work? So I, obviously my car has to have a screen first. This gets plugged into the the. Okay, let me let me read through this to understand. Connect the smart link hub to your car's CarPlay Android Auto enabled USB port. Fair enough. Cool. Select Wi-Fi and Bluetooth source. Select your preferred Wi-Fi source, such as a mobile hotspot and Bluetooth, such as your iPhone. This is only necessary for the very first setup. Start streaming. Download your favorite apps from the App Store to use on our pre-downloaded apps to start streaming. Uh, it just sucks because the screen on my car is terrible. But if my screen was better, this would be amazing. What cars are compatible? Great. What phones? Terrific. Terrific. Yeah, this is a good product. This is a really great product. It's cool because it so seamlessly integrates with your car. But the challenge with selling this, right? is you've heard my questions those are the questions that i personally had just trying to figure out how this works you got to take questions that i had with me being unsure how this works and i'm a techie kind of person i couldn't figure out how this all sits together until i worked it out in my head i need you to get that onto your page in this first paragraph here yeah so we want to answer all the questions in this first paragraph so simply and easy easily that anybody can understand you know, even someone who owns a ute. Make sense? Great product. Really cool. Okay. We're going to move on because I'd love to see your ads for this too, Tom and Molly. This this definitely has legs. I'm really, really pleased with this one. Steven, you said love by 5,000 plus Aussies rather than love by 5,000 plus Aussies. What did we say? Loved 5,000 plus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. He's been very cheeky boy. Setting world records. Good, good find there. Very good find. All right. We have one more for the night which is explore mate so guys this is your last chance once i do explore mate i'm done but if you want me to do yours and you're still here watching by all means drop your url in and I, and I can fit it in okay you've received some awesome ucg for your charger and wanting to and wanting to hope your website is looking good before you make the ad go live because you have a feeling the UCG is going to generate lots of traffic because the video is awesome. Oh, talking it up now, which is good, Lauren. You're, you're selling this to me. <laughs> I mean, you're in the right business for selling this. Sorry if you drop out. That's cool. It's, it's all good. Uh, gift to you. 
All right. Off the grid, built on full charge. W number one, waterproof solar pack. Hmm. Uh, the website's nice. Your your logo, look, it's not, it's not ideal. It's not really like a wow, look at that logo, but it's not bad. It's perfectly okay. I would love to have more of like an adventure type logo. And look, if you're looking for logos, guys, go Canva. Let's do like, let's just do one right now for you. What's your website all about? Explore. Explore. Logo. Look at some of these. And these are just edit editable on a pro plan of Canva. Take some of these logos and make them your own. Look at Super Hike, that looks great. Should you have a mountain in your explore type of logo? Maybe. Some sort of compass perhaps? Or a tent? This one looks nice. So you can really drop, like really bring your website to that next level just by picking a logo. So some of these, if we wanted to say this one, and say customize this template. And this is how easy it is. This is so stupidly easy. What was your website name again? Explore Mate. Does that not look cool? Let's change the color. And this, can we change the color, color of this? How do we change the color of this? Right here. Color. Blue. Explore mate. Change that up. Let's the oops. Bring that back. Put that right there. Maybe even do that. How's that? Making logos has never been easier. Ever. Making websites has never been easier. So guys, get in there. Use your tools make killer websites, make killer logos, do it all in Canva, it's amazing. Okay, off the grid, built on full charge, we'll go and have a look, shop power bank. Explore mate, waterproof solar power bank. I like all this, no, very nice top thingy there. I have a feeling though, I don't know, perfect, good job. All right, fed up with your phone being constantly, cut up, fed up with your phone constantly dying on you. Introducing the number one waterproof solar power bank for Australian travelers. Um, I'm just thinking in my head, it's good, it's good. Is there anything else that's equally as important to charge as our phones? Just a thought, is there anything else like traveling wise or camping wise, anything more important? Could you, could you put this down to say, you know, have you got enough charge on your phone if there's an emergency while you're out traveling, something like that, put a bit of fear in them. You know, how can, how do you know that you won't run out of battery on your phone when you truly need it out in the wilderness? Something like that. Cause it's not just that we're fed up. It's like, we are scared. We're scared. If we have no battery, we need to call in a helicopter. If there's a snake bite, we are scared if we're lost and we can't call anybody, you know, so using that fear will, will really work. Charges under the sun and from a USB power source. Charge, okay, so what charges? What are you talking about? You are saying our, our amazing device, char is, uh, our amazing charging system contains a battery that is self-powered by the sun and can also be charged by an external USB power source. Charges a standard smartphone up to, up to six times giving you 108 extra hours of time. This incredible life-saving power device can charge a single smartphone up to six times. So you see the difference there, bringing it back to your product. The solar power bank, but up here we called it a waterproof solar power bank, has been made specifically for hikers and Australian travelers to help you stay connected to your phone while exploring with your mates. I don't know if we want that because we don't want to be connected to our phones while exploring with our mates, but we do want to know that we are safe to be able to use our phone or radio, radio devices if they're out of battery. So charging phone, charging radio devices, 
Uh, if you can think of any other electronic devices that people take for emergencies, that would be great too. Walkie talkies. Um, what else? GPS. What else could you charge? A light. You know, uh, charging. And radio, entertainment, speakers, whatever. So bring, tell them everything that they, they can charge. Just remind them of the things that they might want to take. Because some people are like, I don't want to take my, my electronic devices. Just remind them of the comforts and the safety equipment that they might want. Oh, you, you got that here. Actually, you already got that. Great. Mention some of these above too. Charges under the sun, portable carry-on, Australian owned, pretty good. 30,000, that's pretty good. It lasts a long time. Turn the torch on. Thousand charges. No, your FAQs are fantastic. Let's add this sucker to cart. Let's go. Do a checkout. If you don't have an upsell yet, it would be great to get an upsell. That would be fantastic. I don't know what you would do as an upsell. Some sort of, some sort of like a, a nice compass or a, a nice upsell would be really cool. And I just want to check here about us. Yeah, very good. And your FAQs. Sorry, I've already checked that. I want to check your contact us. No, I don't. I want to check your mission. Sorry. Okay, mission statement looks good. And you're about us. Probably you want to have some photos of yourself out camping. That would be amazing. Overall, pretty good. Pretty good. I think, I think it's heading in the right direction. And with that, guys, I think that's my, my last review for the day. I've got through a lot today. Wow. I'm getting a bit horsey in my throat. Um, so, good job, guys. I am so incredibly um, impressed. Impressed with today. I'm impressed with the, the quality of the websites coming through. You guys are improving so much. I can't wait till we have a look at your ads and see how they're going. Keep up the good work, guys. Don't take your foot off the accelerator. E-commerce is all about moving forward and it's all about continuously trying and testing new things, making your changes, looking at your competition. I still look at my competition. You know, I, I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped tweaking my website. I haven't stopped tweaking my ads. I haven't stopped testing new offers. I haven't stopped looking at how other people are selling my same product and learning from them because they're doing the same for me. So keep it up, guys. Keep your chin up and let's get out there and make some sales. I'll see you all on Thursday. So take care.